Sharp edges on the tunnel ends will generate noise and reduce the effectivity significantly. An optimal installation has a rounded edge on the tunnel ends that corresponds to 10% of the tunnel's radius. Once the epoxy used to make the spoiler has hardened, start to round off the edges of the tunnel. Make sure that the rounding is as even as possible. Now start the external casting of the tunnel. First, spread a layer of epoxy around the tunnel opening. Lay on the sheets of fiberglass, making sure that they are thoroughly soaked with epoxy. A brush is a handy tool for this job. Take your time ensuring that the sheets are laid down evenly around the tunnel opening. Now, you are ready for the second internal layer of fiberglass. It is important to sand away irregularities before laying the last layer of fiberglass sheets. As before, it is important to soak the sheets properly and make sure that they lay evenly around the tunnel. This is how the inside of the boat should look like after the final casting. 